Hey guys, Tom here, here today with my guide to hammock camping. I'm going to be running through why it's good to hammock camp and why I prefer over a tent. Uh, second, my hammock camping setup and some tips and tricks of uh, things you need to consider. And then I suppose during that I'll be doing a review of my system as well, which is the DD Frontline Hammock, uh, which has seen me in temperatures down to minus three, also in heavy, heavy rain and being completely bone dry. Um, so firstly, why hammock camping? Uh, three main reasons. Uh, Firstly, easy to set up. I mean, we're in the woods here. I'm on a bit of a slant going on as well, and we're gonna set up a hammock, no problem at all, um, which, you know, you can't really do with a tent. You need more flat ground. Uh, second, um, it's the fact that you're in the woods, which is probably the most important thing. You feel so much more connected uh, in a hammock than you do in a tent. I've always found that in tents, when I wake up in the morning, it, you know, it's often really hot. I just feel disjointed from the world around me. Hammocking experience is just uh, a lot more in touch with nature, I feel. Um, and then finally, uh, comfortable night's sleep. I sleep much better in a hammock than I do in a tent. Um, won't be the same for all people. If you sleep on your front, then you may struggle a little bit. But if you're a side sleeper or sleeping on your back, then I think hammocks are a wonderful thing and you get used to them very quickly. So let's get the kit out of my bag and uh, run through that. So first thing you need is your hammock. This is my hammock, the DD Frontline Hammock. Um, great piece of kit, I absolutely love it. Uh, it comes with a bug net inside as well, uh, which is another thing that you may need to get if you, if you haven't got a bug net already installed. Uh, what you then need is how you're gonna get the hammock up. So I use these tree huggers, uh, which are like this on a carabiner, with a whoopee sling suspension system, uh, which you buy separate from the hammock. So what, what's good about these, the tree huggers, you want something which is quite nice and thick uh, because if you're using something thin, it's gonna damage the tree. So I use nice thick tree huggers. Uh, the whoopee sling suspension, uh, what that is, I'll run through it when I'm actually setting it up. It doesn't come as standard with this frontline hammock, you have to buy it separately, but it makes uh, putting the hammock up so much quicker and so much easier, so I strongly recommend getting it. Um, you then need the tarp. This is gonna go over the top of the hammock uh, to stop any rainfall getting you and you need the suspension system for that, which I use uh, bungees, make suspension super, super quick as well. I'm all about speed getting this up, speed and efficiency. And then what I always recommend uh, is getting yourself an under blanket, uh, which I'll run through what that's for. It, it basically sits underneath the hammock, but it, that's where you're gonna lose a lot of your heat during the night, especially on cold nights. Anything below say 12, 15 degrees Celsius, I tend to think under blanket is when I want that. So let's set this up now. So first off the whoopee slings, I put these around first. Now if it's a thin tree, I tend to do a couple of wraps um, and also the distance that I've got between these trees, you know, I'm not going to stretch it too much, but you don't need to, you don't actually need to wrap it. I've done it a few times where I've not wrapped it at all. It's gone round once and it's fine. And if you then lock your carabiner on that side, and then you've got it like so. so the, 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 the tension is going through both of those whoopee slings. I then let that hang. It is going to drop down a minute while we're setting this up, but just leave that hanging there for a minute, and then we'll do the one on the other side. Okay, so here we're on the other side. So again, wrapping round the tree. Um, we'll just do one on that one, it'll be fine. And again, oh, connecting up. This will probably fall down, it may hold, but it's fine if it falls down, it's nicer if it holds, this bit makes it a little bit quicker, you're not leaning down to grab things. Right, let's now grab the hammock. So with the hammock, I actually have one of these snake skins which holds it all together. I recommend getting it, just keeps everything a little bit neater and easier. On each end, I then have the whoopee sling coming out. So with the whoopee slings, you want to find a big loop, and then you've got the long bit dangling down. Big loop gets hooked on one end like so, and then we go to the other end to find the next loop. And then we hook this into there, like that. You can then move these up a little bit if you want to. Now they've got a little bit of tension, they've then got a hold. And then what you want to do is tighten the uh, whoopee slings up to raise this up. I tend to like my hammock quite tight. So tightening these up is just a case of 
with the whoopee slings, come a little bit closer. So to tighten, if you hold the long bit coming out, pull on that, giving that a bit of tension, and then just move your finger up, and then it tightens like so. I'll do that on the other side a little bit as well. There we go, and then you leave these bits dangling down. There we are, that's pretty tight. Probably got a little bit tighter as well. And that is perfect. And then because you've then got the snake skin on, skin on here as well, it's then just the case of opening one of the ends and then bringing that down. It's funny, last time I used this, I left my head torch in the hammock. I can feel it around here somewhere, I think. So, let's get that out. And there we go, the hammock is unpacked. Let's uh, use it this. I'm just going to take this head torch out. Like so. And then what I like to do once I'm at this stage, I like to give it a quick test on the weight. So, the way to get in, Put your hands on the sides, make sure you're centre, and then we're in. And then I kind of check that out and I think, are oh, we good? Yeah, we're good, pretty comfy, not a problem, but we're not done yet, still got a job to do. Oh. So I mentioned about bug nets. This hammock, the DD Frontline, has a built in bug net, like so. Stop the creepy crawlies getting on you. So with this, it has uh, a couple of points to hold its shape. So you've got these little temp, po uh, little temp holes, sort of things. But you can use sticks. I use these because it, uh, it's going to reduce the risk of causing damage. And these just insert in a little hole there. Well, it's going to give this bit here shape, you know, and structure. Let's go with this one here. Like so. And then you just want to find somewhere to tie these off. Now I tend to tie them, you know, I might go up to the tree. Let's go to the tree with this one on this side. These are elasticated, so you know you're not going to damage it and you can put your weight on by ripping something. I'm just give a little knock there. In terms of knots, I'm not an um, expert on knots, I just make things work. There's one. Let's go for the other. This one maybe I'll go to the tree as well. Mm. Maybe not quite to the tree this one, so I'm going to do this one around the carabiner. Could have got it to the tree, but I kind of change it all over the place when I'm doing this. So again, little knot. Like I say, I've got no idea what this knot's called. It's kind of like a made up on the spot thing, which has a bit of a quick release. There we go. That's in set up with bug net. Uh, zips on this as well, with this hammock which is nice. Now what we should do is, let's get the under blanket out, put that on. Just a quick one to show you under blankets and why we need them. If you look underneath here, because I'm flattening all of this area down, if you've got a sleeping bag, you know, that all of that um, loft is gonna be lost completely. So it's underneath where you get cold because you're just squashing everything. So what the under blanket does, it hangs underneath and provides a pocket of warm air to keep you comfort. Let's get that on now. What I've done is I've clipped a couple up that end, a couple up this end. This DD uh, um, under blanket has a number of connection points with these little carabiners here. And I click them just above where the hammock stops. You know, so there's two M1s and then you also have going down the hammock, you've got little connection points like there's one here, 
a little ring. Put that on there. And then got another one here with a little ring. Which just clips on like so. And then the ones on the other side, which you're not going to be able to see me for this. But I'm still here. So I'm um, uh, one there. And then the other one hooked up on this side. Okay, let me jump back around to the front. Okay, you then have uh, a couple of tension points here toggles to make it nice and tight so it's around you but let's jump in and just assess that at the moment now if you remember a second ago it was all flat against my back let's see how this is now look at that no longer flat nice warm pocket of air that I'm going to be getting going on there so good I can tighten these up a bit more probably tighten up the end bit just to get it nice and snug but um, you see what it's then doing alternatives to using an under blanket by the way because when I started hammocking I didn't have an under blanket so what I used was um, one of the thermo rests the inflatable ones and what I would do is on the on this hammock you have a, a section in the middle where you can put stuff so I would put that in there um, some people well, one of my mates he prefers using a thermo rest or something because it gives um, the hammock a bit more shape however I think these are much much better he sleeps a bit weird, he's a front sleeper, so I don't know why he's into hammocks to be honest because he must be uncomfortable pretty much every time he gets in one. Anyway, uh, let's get the tarp up in case there's rain. So now we've got the tarp, uh, what you do is you have uh, corners of the tarp, oh, drop my cap, drop my bungee there, uh, corners of the tarp, take one of the corners, stick, um, stick a bungee around one of the bits, and then just flip it round and put a bungee through the other corner on that loop. Then we've got one end set up and then we'll move down all the way until we've got, don't worry about it being over the uh, hammock at the moment, we can get all that sorted shortly. But we've then got another one here. Now with this bungee, uh, are we going to be able to do a loop? Maybe not. So because of the Size, the length we're going, it's going to be a bit too much tension going all the way around. So, what I've done is I've just hooked one around there. I'm going to go up here through this gap. It's not an ideal tree, it's going to be right and then back around onto the other bungee on this side. So there's quite a lot of tension on that, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually just going to release this one a little bit, doing a similar situation I did on the other side, where I take one out, and I'm going to put it there. Then that's released the tension, and if we look at where the top is, if we look at the corners, it's over the hammock. We are completely covered, so we are happy. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to make it, make it pretty. So, this bit here, flips over, so I always go for this setup, the diamond setup they call it, uh, just because for me it's, it's, just, it's just always worked to be honest, uh, never had problems with it. So what I'll do is that's one side down there, so camera person comes around here to the other side of the hammock. We're at the corner on the other side here, um, now what I've attached here, I've got a load of uh, guidelines effectively, camping guidelines, so you have the loop and then you have a bit that tightens it up. Now you can take Tempex with you, but I think you're in the woods, there's no point. We've got sticks everywhere um, which we'll be able to use. So it's just a question of finding a stick. It's all right, a little soft, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Putting it in, ground. And then as you tighten it up, the shape of the top is then shown. You can see that taken shape and perfect then what I do is um, on the other side you can do the same straight away however what I do is I tend to do it later on in the night so what I do is I actually just grab it bring it over here like so because then the front of the hammock 
it's going to be uh, kind of like my social area and then I've got the guideline on here to actually uh, uh, tighten that off when I'm about to go to sleep. Right, let's cut that round to the front. Right, so we are protected from rainfall coming down. However, if the cables get wet on either side from rain, then that, uh, that water is going to be brought down to it. So what I do is, I've got a little pocket in here. You've got pockets inside the hammer where I put a load of these that I've made up. So little bits of paracord, basically, which I've you know, seared the ends of like so. And then what I'll do is, say something like here, rainfall is going to get onto these cables and come all the way down and get me wet. So I put a point here where if I just take the loop like so, so I put the loop round and then I put the two bits through, pull them nice and tight, and then the rain's going to hit this and then come down here, and this is going to stay nice and dry. So I'll do that there, I'll do it here, any point basically, uh, same on this side here, there and there, where rainfall can kind of get carried through. Um, other good things on this hammock, if I flip it round, so in here, there's a little connection point here, and same on the other side there, in the centre, where I've put a little ridge line as well, uh, which is very handy for when you've got your head torch on, and you're getting into bed uh, late at night, take the head torch off, rather than dropping it around you because you're then going to lose it, I then put it on the ridge line. So again, I just flip it around, flip it around, and then I've then got that to slide along and get access to that if you wake up in the night and you get a little bit scared, which you can do when you're out in the woods camping. So always good to have some light when you need it. Um, so that's it, other things. Uh, what I do is before I'm getting in the hammock, I tend to have all my gear in my bag and that could be below the hammock. I will then jump in. I've tightened this up as well, this um, uh, under blanket, because it's a little bit loose. So I've given that a tighten. Um, so I'll jump in like so. I'll take my shoes off, ready for bed, put them here. Sometimes I put them in a, uh, in a bag as well, I'll tie the bag up just so that I don't get any creepy crawlies in my boots that surprise me in the morning. I won't take them off now because I've got laces. So then, oh, you're then there, comfortable for the night. In terms of sleeping positions, you can sleep on your back, you can sleep on your side, sleep at a bit of an angle. Um, oh, it's quite good to have a little pillow, maybe get your uh, sleeping bag, bag that it comes in, put a jumper in it, throw that behind and you've got a pillow, nice and comfortable. Could have a bottle of water here as well that you could grab quite easy. But that's it, that's the hammock, how to set it up. But the great thing about it is, like I said at the start, if you wake up in the morning and you are greeted by the view of the forest around you, and the sound of the forest, you just feel so much more connected than if you were in a tent. So for me, hammocks are indeed the way forward. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please remember to hit that like button. Uh, comment if you are a hammock camper or you're looking to get into it. I'll put links to all this gear that I use, uh, which I think is very good uh, down below. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy camera king and subscribe for more content. Cheers.